¿Cómo estás, everyone? It's Elias Motoya77, and we're back at another video right now. This time, we're learning how to do the lava pad tutorial effect on KineMaster. So, first, we load a video from our library. So, I'm going to do the logo from of Once Upon a Time Films and the Nickelodeon Productions, in which they came from... Gym Teacher the movie. It's a good movie if you have watched it already. Alright, so now I will put it right here. So first, crop a part of the video. Remember that this effect only works for short videos. And now put this on mono, M10, contrast 100, saturation 100, and vibrance 100. And of course, Slow it all the way down to 0 0.125. And now, let's put the volume to 2000 and this to the negative 100. And the auto volume and the EQ, bass booster, and the radio. Now that's how it would sound like when we slow down. And let's render it. If the video is a little bit too long, then you should just like put it in a shorter time and there you go. Now that's the raw video file and I delete that for now. And um, I'm going to insert the raw video footage that we just exported right now and let's speed it up to about 8 and don't forget click key pitch and of course just amplify the audio to make it sound louder like this And it sounds like the super slow effect on Windows Live Movie Maker, but it sounds different. And if you want it to be amplified, you can add another layer and uh, put the opacity on zero to make it look like it's invisible. And of course, two copies of the audio are playing at the same time. And there you go. And uh, don't forget, if you want to tinker with some there's a dumb things you can just like the key disable the key pitch and there you go <laughs> sounds like that a they a, a PAL print of a of a of that movie but keep the pitch from now on and of course just unmute the audio from here now go to effect and go to and right here which says pinch slash bulge and do bulge and if you haven't downloaded the effect already it's in distortion in right here pinch your video or the image to the center or bulge a certain position into it adjust the identity of the effect to create a fun video so now let's pull this up to a lot to the, the aspect ratio then uh, put the strength to 2 and uh, one more thing so it hasn't fit perfectly yet and uh, don't forget to add the um, to add to add the the um, the, the fountain effect and there you go now here's how it would look like and while you finish you can uh, add the fading effect and of course I'm going to add my own logo from favorites and you put it in uh, you put it all the way down there Cause you know I'm a Filipino and I'm this 
working on this and you know I might be like might be like my other friends but let's put a pop effect in this and a snap inward effect in this and of course let's put it up to to 60 frame 60 frame rate or 60 fps or whatever you get it. and please watch this meter so it it doesn't like it doesn't like it's a little slow but you can do it like this I add some tweaking and there you go voila now you got yourself a wobbly tomit but my stupid camera is all blurry and you can't figure out what it's all about I hate this dumb camera if I lower it, a, a part of it can be seen. I need glasses, Doc. I have this flashlight, but it won't help. This is the worst camera in the world, but now... Just want to put a focus on it. There you go. Sorry if this has been a little long. I just learned how to do things the right way. But even when you look at things, you don't see it. And what's this supposed to mean? That's the dumbest thing I ever heard. And don't forget, subscribe to Glias Montoya 77 for another video soon. I would really like if you subscribe. Yeah, you can subscribe for another video like this one. But that's not it. It's just a thing that I like to do. See you soon.